Hey everybody, how you doing? What's going on? Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about the Lego City, what my plans are, because I recently received over 100,000 pieces. Where do we go from here with those pieces? All those pieces are for the Lego City, right? Got all the pieces on the tables behind me here. Haven't sorted them yet, and I don't know if I'm going to sort them because they're all already sorted, which is convenient. I'm glad they didn't arrive all in one big jumbled mess. So that would be a lot of work. But I need working space, so I need my tables back. So what I'm gonna do today, actually right now with you, is just sort of sort them. So we got like gray brick. We're gonna put all the gray brick together, whether it be one by, two by, all that, because what I did is actually I came in this morning and I had all these boxes. It was just one big of a mess, one big of a mess in here, one big mess in here. So uh, what I did was just cut the tops off or cut the flaps off with a razor. I didn't do it by hand. My karate chop isn't that sharp. And I figured I'd just have these as an open system. And then I could just put everything, sort of group everything by part type within these boxes. So then when I go to build, I know exactly where all these pieces are. So there goes all the green brick and you can group the gray brick with that as well. And then I may as well make a box for slopes. So those are like the two by two by three tall. They got one by two by two tall or three tall. I can't remember. These ones are three tall, I think. These are nice ones, that's for sure. Group all the slopes together. I sort of did that when I originally unpacked it, but I didn't do the best job. I was so excited to crack it all open and check it all out. Am I gonna verify that every single piece is here? No, <laughs> I'm gonna trust, trust the source, which of course was Lego. So I'd imagine they did a pretty good job. Now I'm gonna group together all these leaf elements. We've got ferns and leaves. Let's just put all the leaf elements together in one box. We'll hock them around pretty good here today. These are like supports for mountains. You got like lattice, so maybe I'll put all the mountain stuff together. I think these are gonna be good supports too in light gray. Just good for building those robust mountains that I wanna build. We got some more slopes here in white. I ordered white ones because I thought that would be good for the winter village and just like snow capping everything. And also if I rebuild the ski slope, like I built a ski slope in the past, but it might be nice to rebuild it again. Maybe a little bit different this time, you know? Bigger, a little more rock solid because I built the ski slope, but I feel like it wasn't the best build. It's, it was the first time I attempted to use those Ikea boxes in one of my large structures and Sometimes I didn't actually mill plate underneath them. I just put them down and those things don't actually have any clutch power. They do lock in place, but they don't actually like lock in place like using clutch power. So I feel like this time around when I build the ski slope, I definitely will not be doing that. Oh my gosh, I'm just making my tree bin. Look at it. Look at all the leaves. We got all the colors in here. dark green, like all the colors you can ima imagine. The reds were a super special find. I was excited about that because when I originally built my uh, representation of the trees that you can find in the A-frame cabin, I didn't, uh, I wasn't able to find any of the red. So I'm excited to integrate the red into the autumn colored trees. And we'll probably just group them together within the city so we'll have like different uh, groupings of trees, so some will be like white and that's peaks and then some will be Green in some areas and then some will be autumn so we can have different colors and different seasons all throughout the city I know it doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. These are nice the candlesticks I'm gonna pair those up with the fern elements to create Some really nice looking trees got some more slopes there green plate didn't order very much of it How many is this 500? That's not very, very much, but I've got a lot of green plate and I ordered the 16 by 16s. So I'm thinking the mills plates are gonna be solid. So when I build the city, 
I'm no longer going to build my elevation on non mills plated stuff. So sometimes in the past, if I was only going up like, I guess if you're going up like two or three bricks, it's fine. You don't need to mill split it. But as soon as you get over like six bricks, you sort of need to mill split your base layer and then build up from there. Some people were questioning that when I did it in the past when I was building my elevations on top of the, the raised platform in the city. Like for example, I, when I raised up my Lion Knight's castle, they're questioning me like, why are you mills plating it and then mills plating it again to get up to the height? And I sort of did that because I knew the rigidity wouldn't be there. I did that because your base will still be so floppy and when you go to pick it up, it could like explode on you. So <laughs> when I built my mountains the second time around, I sort of kept that in mind. Like, yeah, maybe people are right. Maybe I don't need to do that. And then I, I started building some of the, the peaks in here and I decided not to mill plate the base of it. And we were going up like six, seven, eight, nine bricks. And then I went to pick up this thing. It was like, whoop, and all the towers just whoop, gave out. It's like, okay, well, no more of that. Everything is gonna be mill plated. So that's the reason why I want to clear my desk here is because I'm gonna start the mill plate factory ASAP. Like we're talking right away. So just like that, I've got this table down to like all the weird random stuff that doesn't really have a home. So I guess I'm gonna put those with the, the, um, the towers, like the supports for the mountain. These, because there's not very many of them. So I'll just put all the weird random stuff in there. That makes sense. Like all the one by one studs and stuff that I ordered that I just knew I would need eventually. Okay, I'm gonna finish this. All right, that's a little bit better. A little easier to manage. Nothing too crazy, just your basic sorting, masonries and two by and one by, dark bluish gray, all in that box there. That's a lot of brick. Mountains and roads, that's what we're gonna build with those. So yeah, I am down with that. Uh, light gray brick, not as much of it. Got some masons and all that. There's green in the bottom there, which is good for the mountains as well. And then just a little bit of brown. Not much though. Maybe I should have ordered more. This wasn't cheap though, so I, I have to remember that I was living within a budget when I ordered this stuff because now future bricks, he's like, oh, I should have ordered more. <laughs> Maybe this isn't gonna be enough for all the mountains I wanna build. So you didn't order any rectangular rock pieces. Is that gonna be enough brick to build mountains? No, so that's an issue. We have enough of the supports and enough of the plate to build the mills plates and all that, but I don't think there's gonna be enough dark bluish gray brick there. I know that's a giant box full of it, but that's not gonna get me far. <laughs> like not gonna get me far at all. So uh, I might be ordering rock panels from Lego. <laughs> I might be placing some more Lego orders when I start actually building these mountains. Screen, I uh, went all in because I thought I was gonna be building these giant green mountains. So I did buy a lot of those. So I am confident with my decision there but the tops of the mountains are gonna be dark gray and white, so maybe there's not enough. But with that said, I do have a bunch behind me in my parts inventory as well. Now I decided to subdivide the tree bins. So these are all the things for building the tree structures. So this can build tree structures, whether they're arches or cylinders, technic pieces, connectors, circular bricks, all that. And then this is literally all wedge plates for adding textures and stuff to the countryside. I wish I would have ordered more of these, but in forest green, bale. But I placed this order so long ago. I didn't think of that when I was placing this order so long ago. So I'm probably gonna have to order those from Lego again. <laughs> Cause I want to add forest green colors, not regular green, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna use these. This is literally all leaves. So all the different colors and all the different types. Looks like a lot, but leaves are bulky. And you gotta remember that these trees, uh, you build one tree that's this tall and it uses 20 leaves. So 300 leaves builds you 10 trees or whatever it is. So here we have enough to build a few hundred, maybe a couple hundred trees, which is good. So I feel confident with that, but hopefully I got enough of the structure stuff. It's hard to do all the math 
one order in this. So, yeah. But I feel like it's going to get us far, and of course I'm going to have to order more different pieces in the future. This isn't going to be all the parts that I need for the rest of my life, so it does not matter. Eventually we will order more. But my, my number one goal is, of course, to use all this stuff here. Uh, this is just all random stuff that can be used for various city projects, like ingot tiles for trails and that, and rock detail, and just one-by-ones and tiles and trans-blue elements, one-by-two plates, one-by-two tiles, all that. This is literally all slopes, curved slopes, and regular slopes, white and dark gray. I pulled the supports for the mountains out. They don't need to consume an entire box. Pretty easy to tell what those are. Once again, all the plates, all the Technic panels over there. And something else that I did is I ordered 150 of the 32 by 32 green base plates. I didn't order any of the 48 by 48 light gray base plates. Hmm, was that a mistake? Maybe, but what I can do when I mill plate this stuff, and that's actually the project that I'm gonna be working on later today, is starting to mill plate the entire city my thought process was, well, what I can do is I can actually connect four base plates together, making a 64 by 64 base plate, meaning that these mountain modules will just be bigger chunks. And if I reinforce it between the seams, like for example, we've got four base plates right here. If I reinforce it between the seams and then I lay plate over the entire thing, it's gonna make that quite strong and it shouldn't be a problem with building 64 by 64 modules within the city. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. So not having 48 by 48s is not the end of the world. Now, I do have to consider that this is six and a half base plates across. So I'm gonna to have to get a half base plate or at least one of these in there somewhere. So maybe the front row has to be 48 by 48s and then the back rows will have to be uh, 32 by 32s. I'm just doing some quick math here. If this is 65 inches, these are 15 inches. That would bring us down to uh, 50. And then we've got the train track modules. So this would be four here. So we could, for example, we could build uh, two of the 64 by 64 modules to fill in there. So it's probably what I'll do because then these chunks are a little bit bigger because to have it all little tiny chunks like that, or like this, it becomes a bit much. I, I mean, the, the modules don't need to be that small. Like that's really small. They can be 64 by 64. But they'll all be different. Some will be 32 by 32, some will be 64 by 32, some will be 64 by 64, some of them will be 48 by 48. Holy, I'm saying a lot of numbers. But it's just going to, they're all gonna have to be different because it really gonna, it's really gonna depend what's on top, where the elevation is, and also like what, or where they're going in the city, so how the math of it has to work out. And it'll all just be contingent on what's going down. But you can see how many of those leaf elements go into each tree. Like you build a tree like that, you're using a ton of them. Or if you build some of the big ones, like these, like look how many leaves go on that. So that's why there's a huge box of leaves over there and the, the box of leaves is obviously way bigger than all of the pieces to build the actual like uh, trunk of the tree or the stalk of the tree, the branches. So yeah, what I'm gonna work on today is mills plating everything other than what's going in the very center. You can see in the center where I have the Ninjago platform right there. I think that was four base plates or is it five? It might be 50 inches. I'll have to get in there and measure because the center table like right here, this is actually seven base plates or 70 inches, roughly 70 inches. So if I build this platform and it's gonna go all the way through the center and then a right angle here and it's gonna be the same height and that wood structure is going to support all the raised sections of the mountain but then what I need to do is mills plate the basic mills for everything else. So what I'm gonna to try to do today is mills plate every single plate using those 16 by 16s and the copious amount of two by two white bricks that I have so that I can get all of this here 
covered in color and get rid of all of this white space other than the stuff that is gonna be covered by raised platforms. There's no point in those plating that because that should all be sort of customized and I may as well just build those when I actually get those platforms inserted. So that's my next goal is to try and get this base structure of the city going like I've mentioned in previous videos. That is just like my goal is to get this base structure done. And the reason it's not done yet is because I knew that order was coming. Like I knew that order was coming in like February or March. And I thought it was gonna be here in like April, May, June, July. August, no, nope, September, end of it. <laughs> so it arrived and throughout all of those months of me waiting for it to arrive, I bought a ridiculous amount of parts and base plates. If you've been watching my videos, you know that. I bought all of these base plates, which I probably don't need because now I have 150 of them up there. And I also bought all of these base plates for the medieval area, I bought all of those. And I also bought uh, like uh, 20,000 one by two trans light blue tiles, copious amounts of boxes from the pab wall, all these one by fours, all the cheese slopes, a ridiculous amount of four by four green plate from Bricklink, uh, a ridiculous amount of two by two brick from Bricklink, a ridiculous amount of reddish brown plate, which I regret not ordering in that big bulk thing there. Like I didn't order any dark bluish gray, uh, light bluish gray or brown or tan plates in smaller sizes. But I was just thinking that maybe I can get by with what I have or I can get by by placing supplementary orders. Yeah, oh, okay, because I ordered all those 32 by 32 green base plates, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna replace all of these here all the white ones with green, and I'm gonna get rid of all the white from the medieval area, so there's quite a few there. And I'm also gonna get rid of all the white from the amusement park because there's quite a few in front of it just beyond the residential here. And I'm gonna save those for the winter village, and I'm also gonna get, I'm gonna figure out a way, whether it be command strips or whatever it may be, and I'm gonna take all these white base plates, and I'm gonna put them on the face of this HVAC unit all the way along and also on this side here. And that's gonna just tidy this up really nicely. I could put some nice design on there using all the dots that I have. And I think that would be really cool. Also these boxes have gotta go because that looks sort of ugly. And then I've gotta hang some of my art and build some more art and get the art all hung there. But that is just gonna tidy it up so much. I do not like looking at that metallic color. There's actually my handyman who recommended to me that maybe you could put base plates on there. And it's like, oh, that's a brilliant idea. But it's gonna take 40 base plates. And now I'm gonna have those base plates. So I'm pretty excited about that. But for the city, first thing I've gotta do, mill plate everything, because as I was mentioning, even if it's an elevation, the elevation is likely going to be a wood structure like this here, or it's going to be built out of Lego, like all of those right there but I no longer want to do that where the support is sitting right on the base plate. I want to do that where the support is sitting on a mills plate just because it's easier to transport and move these things around and it adds an extra layer of security, an extra layer of stability to these plates. So my top priority now is to mills plate absolutely everything that I possibly can with all of those parts up there and then I'm going to move into the wood structure phase, get that wood structure built, and then I'm going to mill plate the top of the entire wood structure, and then every single piece of table here, every spot of the table will be filled with Lego studs. And then I can start further developing everything. And that is going to transform the city that looks all right into something that looks half decent. Because it looks half decent right now, well, it looks all right right now, but it doesn't look very good because of that exposed table. So my goal is to fill in that space as much as possible and as quickly as possible 
using all of these pieces. Not all of them, but <laughs> pretty much all the plate. And then I've got to do all the amusement park and stuff as well because that's just basic plate there. So I've got to get that all mills plated and I've got to get the uh, medieval area all mills plated as well. So mills plating 101, that is step number one here. And then after that, the fun part begins. Well, it's all fun actually because transforming this place is all fun. But after that, I can move into the actual elevation part of it, mountain building part of it, detail phase and all that. This is the moment that I've been waiting for. And here it is <laughs> in October, November, December, Q4 of 2024. Q1 was pretty, pretty much a lull. It was like, oh, what are we doing here in January, February? And then March hit and it's like, woo, studio. We developed this bad boy throughout March, April. And then in June, we started building all these tables. I think that was the timeline. It could be off by a bit. We started building all these tables and all the shelving and everything. And then July, August, September, we've been developing the city and adding to the shelving rooms and all that. And now, October, November, December, we are going to truly start building this city because it's similar to what it was before now, just not as polished, but now we're gonna be able to build something epic, which I'm pretty excited about everybody. I hope you enjoyed this little episode of Brixie Talks, informing you what's going down with all these parts, parts and plans, <laughs> lots of them. So make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the near future. And most of all, or most importantly, have yourselves a great day. Bye for now.